In the history of Marian apparitions, Our Lady directly communicates with a few chosen people, quite often children. Yet, it is not necessary for her to speak directly in every apparition. She also communicates through her presence, a presence of silence. On the eve of April 2nd, 1968, Our Lady appeared as a radiant light atop St. Mary's Coptic Orthodox Church. The church is located in Zaitun, a suburb of Cairo, Egypt. There is a popular legend or belief that Joseph and Mary passed by Zaitun when they fled from Herod's persecution to safety in Egypt. Often holding an olive branch and sometimes a cross, a lady was seen moving among the domes of the church. At other times, she was bowing before the cross or blessing the people below. People of all classes, occupations, and religions saw her in different forms or postures, her appearance always being public and witnessed by all people present, believers and unbelievers. We even had our servant and she doesn't understand anything in Christianity. And she was jumping up and down because she saw her and it's like you feel all the chill. You know, it's not like um, a simple thing. It's really very, very touchy and uh, your whole body is different and you start, cr you don't know what, you know, you're crying, you're screaming, you don't know what to do. And the girl started, you know, she was 17, 18 years old. And we started asking her, maybe we are not seeing right. And we told her, what are you seeing? And she said that uh, she's seeing a lady with a, she didn't even know the halo, but she said, with a crown full of bu uh, light bulbs, because that's how bright she was. And uh, she, we saw her like in a frame, like in a picture, and then the whole, standing as a whole, with floor and light. On many occasions, she was reportedly seen appearing in many different shapes and surrounded by a multitude of colors. The appearances were also accompanied by miracles of healing, which have been verified and documented by a commission of physicians and scientific professors. On May 5th, 1968, the Coptic Church issued a statement through the papal office of Patriarch Girolis VI, declaring, The Blessed Virgin Mary has appeared several times on the Coptic Orthodox Church named after her at Zaitun in Cairo. The apparitions continued for over two years, occurring two or three times each week, most frequently on feast days or eves of feasts. Her visits lasted from only a few minutes up to eight hours. The crowds grew to an estimated quarter million people. Among these witnesses were Orthodox, Catholics, Protestants, Muslims, Jews, and non-religious people from all walks of life. Dr. Venice Khalil, an eyewitness to the apparitions, expresses her confirmation of the events. Well, I am a doctor, and what I have seen in, in Zaytun I believe, and I can't explain it to medicine or science. There were a great number of miracles and healing and conversion of faith. It was reported, at times, white or golden luminous doves hovered around the figure of Our Lady at night, flying at great heights and then suddenly just disappearing. This is certainly an unusual phenomenon since doves do not fly at night. The doves appeared before, during, and after Our Lady's appearances. Another phenomenon associated with the Zeitlin apparitions was the presence of incense-smelling smoke described by one of the bishops as a fragrance as great as it from a million senses. Although no words were spoken, she imparted a powerful message to the children. 
Did Our Lady's silence represent her loving concern for all her children, Christian and non-Christian? The fruits bear witness to the powerful presence 